What's going on guys? Welcome back to our beginner guide. Here are five more quick and easy tips for new Tarkov players. Let's get into it. First things first, looting. Looting is very important and I highly recommend you do it as quickly and efficiently as possible. And what I mean by that is when it comes to quickness, you have no idea if the person that you just killed or the scab that you just killed alerted somebody else in the distance that you are in an area and they are eventually going to roam to you to then try to take your loot. So you are very limited on time when it comes to looting in Tarkov. Sometimes you have all the time in the world, but sometimes you never know. You have no idea if the, per the PMC that you just killed has a friend that's lurking around and you know that they have something that you need. You need to make sure that you can efficiently loot quickly and get out of there. Now, what I mean by that is, let's just say I was in a raid and uh, this is what my backpack's kind of looking like. Okay, I just killed a guy that had a slick and a U-lock on. I really want both of those things and I don't want to get rid of any of the gear that I already have. But look at my stash. What you want to do is be able to go up to somebody and control click and it immediately go into your backpack, your tack rig, wherever there's space. But look, I don't have any space. So... What I mean by that is while you're looting around and you start to accumulate things, you should automatically be trying to set up space for you to quickly be able to go up to somebody and grab their loot very quickly. Instead of doing all this rearranging on the person's body, you need to be going around hitting boxes and, you know, cash spots, you know, scavs, and you need to make sure that you try to have like a two by two or a three by three, or even if you can you know, do a two by five. It depends on how big your bag is, but having plenty of space in your bag means you can loot very quickly. And if you start getting shot at, you can get off that body and at least you got some loot out of that. Make sure that you focus on tetrising your backpack to where that you can quickly grab loot because that'll ultimately save you in raids. Tip number two, focus on your metabolism. Metabolism is very important. And you need to try to go into every single raid with food and water. You start off with nothing in your backpack, so it's not like it's really taking up a lot of space. But within 10 to 15 minutes of you being in raid, you are going to be lower on energy. You're going to be lower on hydration. Try to take in food and water so that you can upgrade your skill, which is metabolism. A healthy metabolism improves and extends the effects of eating and drinking and sustains the physical skills longer. It's really not that difficult to do this. Any type of food or water you find in raid, if you're hungry and thirsty, just eat it, just drink it. It's only going to benefit you later on down the road because once you max out metabolism and you go into some raids, as long as you are not just throwing painkillers back all throughout the raid, you can probably go two full raids without needing food or water with max metabolism. It's a great skill to focus on and it's super easy to do all throughout wipe. So focus on metabolism. It's going to do nothing but benefit you. Next tip is spending money with traders. When it comes to leveling traders, you have three things that you have to focus on level, rep, and money. Now, right now I'm level 31 and I have skier at level three. And for me to get to skier level four, I need to reach level 38. I have to have a rep of 0.75 and I need to spend 2.6 million with skier so the easiest way for you to make money through all of these traders is to just buy stuff from them and sell it back to them now for the most part a lot of traders have some things that they will sell to you that they won't take back but you can kind of play around with things so let's just try let's see if we can purchase this uh yellow sg 919 mag for 2000 rubles now that's going to add to the amount of money that i need to spend with skier now, right away, you can't just sell exactly what you just purchased from them. So one way to kind of figure this out is maybe move it around, you know, throw it in a case, you know, just kind of play with it for just a sec, just to see and test if you can actually sell it back to them. Look at that. I'm not getting exactly what I spent, but I'm still getting some back. So what you can do is buy, if you have some money, you can buy like 30. Let's just buy 30 of these things really quick. Oh gosh, medical kit. Uh, boom. Where's the medical kit? God, thinks we're a bot. All right, let's uh, let's buy like 29 of these so that we have uh, a full 30. So look, our money is going up. It didn't actually move because we we haven't spent 2.2 million yet, but it is increasing. All of this actually counts. So hopefully 
we can get ourselves over. We move some of these around, yada, yada, yada. Go back to him. And we just sell them all back. All of this counts, and this is an easy way to cheese the traders right now. I don't technically know if this is like an exploit. I'm sure they probably don't want this. But right now, it's the easiest way to sell things to these other traders. Because I really only sell things to the flea market, therapist, ragman, and mechanic. That's all that I really sell. I spend money on these other traders, but not enough that they're requiring. So I don't really feel like selling something that I can make more on with another trader. So look at that. We were at 2.1 and now we're at 2.2 million. The easiest way to make money on these traders is just buy stuff from them and sell it back. But be careful, make sure that you can sell it back before you buy a ton of a specific item. Tip number three, don't be afraid to use your scav. We spoke about this last time and I just wanted to talk about it a little bit more. A lot of people are struggling in this game and they're losing their gear, their meds, their ammo, their mags, all this stuff as well as their money. Sometimes you just have bad nights and that's okay. Don't be afraid to use your scav. Your scav is a great utility to have no risk and all reward. So if you would like, you could go in, you could spend a night and just go scav, 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 scav. You don't even have to PMC. Just take a night off and go hit up a bunch of scavs. You get them back every 15 minutes if you don't have the intelligence center leveled up to two and three. So it really doesn't take that long. Go in there, loot a bunch of caches, dead scavs, dead PMCs if you come across them. You can find really rare stuff, sell it on the market, and make millions of dollars in one night without even risking any of your own gear. It's an easy way to accumulate gear, money, and things that you need for quests and hideout. Tip number five, don't loot your teammates' kills. It's not fair that some people think that they have the right to go loot somebody else's kill. Don't be that guy. That can quickly cause irritation in a group, and it's not necessary. If you did not kill that scav, that PMC, that whatever, you do not deserve that loot. If you need something, ask. It's really not that hard to just ask if you need something in particular or just wait for, to pick up the scraps whenever they are done. If you did not kill that, you do not have the right to that. Do not be that guy. Kill your own scavs, your own PMCs, loot your own loot. Don't be that guy. Keep the peace. Alrighty guys, that's it for our second video for our beginner guide on helpful tips for new Tarkov players. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. See you guys in the next one.